Hey everybody, welcome to Brick Vault. Today is another LEGO Top 10 Mocks of the Week episode where I show you the coolest custom creations. I happen to find people building in LEGO bricks throughout roughly this last week. Links to everybody I'm talking about are in the description below if you want to learn more about these designers. And before I jump in, first I want to let you know that the custom building instructions that have popped up in the web store this week come from the designer David Buckles. This is the Nantex class Starfighter. In minifigure scale, this Starfighter defends for or the Geonosians against the Republic during the Clone Wars. It's a pretty unique vehicle, super well built by David. The video for this model is also in the description below. And now let's jump into top 10 in no particular order mocks of the week. First up here is Nate Lego. The title is Battle of Sargasso. This single rather large diorama piece here is based within the Halo universe. We seem to be getting a marine assault against some covenant that have taken over a city. They're emerging from the jungle and doing their best to take on what look like quite a few elites and a few jackals with sniper rifles. The organic detailing is great for the jungle. I like the dirt and sand that are starting to sort of overtake the road. Plenty of great details when it comes to the buildings and damage, and it's just a very, very complete battle scene diorama. Next up is from Alex Mox. This is the female Titan. This designer teamed up with a lot of other builders to create each a Titan from the Attack on Titan series. My personal favorite one for sure is the female Titan here. There are some great pieces used to gesture this skinless, really creepy, weird kind of gigantic monster. The rib detailing and some of those white tendons along the outside of the legs look great. Plus the yellow tentacles work really well to contrast for the flowing hair. Number eight in the series here is from Hippolyte Bricks. This is the Riddler's Apartment. It's part of a larger series of Batman inspired vignettes and the details are simply excellent. You can look close and see Chinese food that's partially eaten, tons of different paper and mail and videotapes strewn about the whole place. The rubber band pieces work really well to create one of those conspiratorial maps that you always see in movies and film and it's just a solid solid looking scene now we're looking at a robot build from Ryue Kawai the title is LHB 029 steamroller the robot certainly has attitude those angry eyebrows are extremely pronounced and I think the name steamroller literally means like it is a steam powered retro style robot that rolls around on skates of some kind great looking details for the yellow armor. The dark blue works super well as a highlight, and it's just a great looking complete shape for a robot. Now we are looking at Cyberpunk City from the designer Art Mox. It looks like it could actually probably fit within a much larger massive city diorama the way it's set up it almost feels like a corner piece love the combination of different colored sections of buildings all kind of smashed together and we have this really great build for an outward hanging wall that ends up connecting with this massive overhang it's a great bit of building that has been sort of well hidden within this somewhat chaotic looking piece. There's some great looking characters, a lot of grungy leaking colors and stuff kind of thrown all around this scene. And it definitely fits right in with that cyberpunk theme. We are jumping down now to uh, like a clashing of themes. This is from Sergio Batista. The title is Ecto Rod. So I probably don't have to explain it too much to you guys so you know what's happening here. We're looking at a hot rod that is styled with the Ghostbusters Ecto-1 colors. Even has the sticker of the ghost on the side. The top is outfitted with a lot of the same gizmos and gadgets that the Ecto-1 would also have. And then of course the color scheme matches pretty darn well with the red rim white wall tires. And in classic hot rod fashion, he really did chrome out the engine in a lot of uh, the side bits like the exhaust that just give it that extra bit of flair. Solid looking piece. And if you are keeping track of the number lineup, this is number four from Jerry Harris. This is Tiny Tannic. Just a fun micro scale, micro-ish, nano-ish scale design for a Titanic build. Of course, the name speaks for itself. This looks like sort of a perfect little desk topper if you didn't want to take up too much space. It really is a great 
little build for the Titanic design, and you do have a small iceberg as well. And now we're jumping over to a massive scale model from Brother Steven, inspired originally from his LEGO Masters finale build. The birch creature was originally built several months back, and I don't think he had an instrument back then, but now a larger scene has been set up where he's got a partner, they're both playing, and down below there seems to be a party happening. I'd be very curious to know how much louder their string instruments are compared to the minstrels down below, but based on how you can see everybody reacting there, it looks like they're accompanying the vibe very well. Great looking details. I absolutely love the way these creatures look and the way they fit into this extremely colorful universe. And now we're jumping on over to number two. This is the Burning of Westfold from the designer Jonas Cram. This is one of his several vignettes that come from the Lord of the Rings inspired series. Those tan claw pieces look great as a grass roof. And of course you can see they have been set on fire. Fun little details are included here like minifigure legs as ends of the wooden posts for keeping up the roof. Dagger pieces make up some of the latches for the door on the outside. And these vignettes always have a great series of interesting little pieces used to make up tiny details here and there. We are jumping on over to the last build now. Matt has created the alien tripod from War of the Worlds as depicted in the 2005 film. I do not know how long it must have taken this guy to balance the head of this tripod on what looked like just to be three flexi tubes. That takes some serious skill and patience and guts, frankly, because I'm sure mistakes would probably result in the head coming crashing down and you having a fairly timely rebuild on your hands. Final product, so good though. I really do like the sort of waviness that you have from the legs. It feels kind of otherworldly, like it shouldn't really work physically. And that was one of the more creepy, weird, sort of off-putting alien feels from these strange looking tentacle-like tripods that you got from the film. And this is probably my favorite one I have seen in Lego Bricks. Let's check out some honorable mentions. Look at this big build from Peter Dennison. This is titled Birds of New Zealand. Great looking model, absolutely massive footprint. Love the details. Rokan Chung made Fujiko Mine uh, in helmet style. The heart piece for the mouth just works really well for a build style like this. Firas Abu Jabbar built a Lego Dodge Viper. This is yet again another alternative build design that you can get from the 10295 set. NS Brick Design created Hades. This is Hades, I think, as seen from the Hercules Disney film. Zed built the Brick Pirate Collab. This is for the 90 Years of Play exhibition in Paris. Really fun details here. I especially like the shark. And lastly, here from Andreas Linander. This is Herding Goats by the Shajara Tree. Great looking organic details. And that is it for my personal favorite top 10 of the week. Remember, links to everything and more are all in the description below if you want to check out these designers. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end. If you enjoy our content, feel free to like, subscribe, comment, share, and we'll see you next time at Brick Vault. Yeah.